Okay, friends. So till now, we have learned about perfect competition that in perfect competition, the demand curve AR and the marginal revenue curve MR curve is one and the same thing. And in perfect competition, there's efficient utilization of resources. That means that uh, the equilibrium quantity and price is at the lowest point of AC, right? Now let us assume there are different cases. Here in the screen, you, you are showing three different demand curves. Let's say this is AR and the price is zero. Uh, price is this one. Okay. So our AC would look very similar to like this. This would be our AC if our demand curve is AR and green line is our MC, right? So this is the quantity supplied. Q0 is the equilibrium quantity supplied, right? Now, let's say that our demand curve is not AC and the price uh, demand curve of price one and the same thing. Now, this is our price and AR curve is our demand curve and MR curve, MC curves cuts the demand curves at this point at price P1. Now, the quantity increases to, let's say Q1 here. In a perfect competition, our AC looks something like this. Agreed? We operate at lowest of AC. So let's say this is AC1. And if this is the case, then our quantity supplied would be, preferred quantity supplied would be Q2. Our AC would look similar to this. Right? So at every point, what is our equilibrium quantity? This or this or this. So can I say that this green line MC curve is similar to my supply curve in short term, right? In short term or in long term as well, the MC curve in perfect competition. And this, this is true only for perfect competition. MC curve act as supply curve. Why? Because it shows a level of output that a producer want to produce in the equilibrium in perfect competition. So this is the level shown by MC curve in the green line here. So MC curve is the supply curve for perfect competition and MR curve is demand curve. This is already proved. MR curve, MR, AR, one and the same thing in perfect competition. It is parallel to X axis, right? So you have to remember this thing in perfect competition, MC curve acts as a supply curve and MR curve acts as a demand curve. Um, a mnemonic to remember here is, you can remember it like, if you are from India, you might know these two short form, CS, that would mean company secretary otherwise, or DR, that would mean doctor. So you need to remember that C, C here, first letter is C. C stands for MC. Uh, this is C from MC. And S stands for supply. So CS means MC curve is at as supply curve. And then DR. Here, D is demand. And R is R from MR. So CS and DR, these are, these are the short forms that you can remember uh, if you want to, you can remember it in this way, that MC curve is supply curve for perfect competition and MR curve is equal to demand curve. Okay, now let's move forward and have a look at another concept at the shutdown point. Okay, uh, we have discussed it earlier as well. In short run, let's say you are in a juice business. So, what is the shutdown point? Shutdown point is the point where you are exactly earning where you are recovering only your variable cost. It can happen that you are earning more and recovering some part of fixed cost as well. Then you can keep continuing your business at the point where you are exactly earning till the um, exactly earning till the level where you are able to recover your variable cost. Okay. This point is called a shutdown point. If you are operating below this point in short term, it is advised that you should leave your business. And in long run, if you are unable to recover any of the fixed or variable costs, then it is advised that you should leave the business. So 
if I draw a rough graph here, let's say this is my graph, this is my AR. So let's say now I'm talking about ABC curve. That is average variable cost, not AC curve. Okay. So this this point, if you are operating here, where average variable cost is just covering your uh, is just covered by revenue, then you can keep continuing your business with caution. If you are operating here, where your cost is average variable cost is th this level and your revenue is AR. So this much is your profit. You're earning a profit. Then you, you can keep continuing. But if you're, if you're earning, uh, if your variable cost is somewhat here, then your cost is at P1 and you're selling the price at P0. So you're uh, having an economic loss here, right? So at, um, if your variable cost is below price, that means you are earning economic profit. If your variable cost is at the price, that means you have reached your shutdown point. You should continue with caution. And if your variable cost is above your prices, that means you should shut down your business because you are incurring heavy losses. And in long run, you must recover all the fixed costs and variable costs as well. If you are unable to recover any one cost, then you should shut down your business. Now, let us move forward and try to understand this thing. What happens uh, because we have uh, what happens in case of permanent decrease in long term demand? Uh, we have learned that in perfect competition, all the firms earn economic uh, normal profit only. That means zero economic profits. Normal profits also means zero economic profit. That means the all the firms operate at a minimum of AC. Okay, so all the firms will eventually operate at this point, this point highlighted here, this quantity Q, okay? This is the equilibrium quantity in short term. There can be economic profits or losses, but it would get adjusted as the market participants add or market participants leave the market, uh, which will lead to uh, the price being constant at the AR level at P0 and Q0, okay? Now, what can, in your syllabus, it's also there. What would happen if there is permanent decrease in long-term demand curve? Till now, we were talking of short-term, and now we will talking, talk on long-term also. Okay, we know that perfect competition prices are derived from industry. So when demand decreases, that means the demand curve shifts to left. That means there is a demand, uh, there is a decrease in demand. So let's say this is our new demand curve. Okay, so this is our new equilibrium price. The price reduces from P0 to let's say this is P1, a rough diagram here. Okay, this is our price P1. It reduces from P0 to P1 because of reduction in demand, right? Now we can see if we are operating at this demand curve, orange line here at this AR, then what happens is my revenues are this. But my cost is this. Cost curve will remain the same. So my revenues are here and my cost is above. That means I'm incurring cost is above at this point, right? So my cost are more means I'm incurring losses. There are economic losses. Okay. Economic losses and prices are reduced. So what would happen in case of decrease in demand? Many players will leave the industry, will leave the markets because they are incurring losses and due to which the supply also reduces as players are leaving the market the supply curve also supply overall supply in the industry reduces and the supply curve also shifts to the left so now supply curve also shifts to the left okay this is blue line is my supply curve and if it shifts to left let's say it shifts somewhere here so this is my new supply curve S1, let's say. This is D1. This is S1, right? Now, when supply curve moves to the left, it again increases the equilibrium price from this was P0. This again restore the equilibrium prices to P0. And in long run, we are still reached the stage at AR. At P0, we have still reached the equilibrium demand curve of AR, the black line here. 
and we are operating again at the bottom of AC where MC curve touches the AR curve and MR curve, right? So in long run, all it's every time all the firms will earn normal profits only. Whether in case of decrease, if there is the permanent decrease in demand, then adjustment would be there will be decrease in prices first. Due to decrease in prices, many players will leave the market. And when many players leave the market, it leads to decrease in supply as well. When there is de decrease in supply, it again restores the price to P0 again. It increases the price from P1 to P0, right? And eventually, in long run, the demand curve will touch AC, the bottom of AC curve where MR is equal to MC. And all the firms will earn normal profits or zero economic profits, okay? This was the case with permanent decrease in demand. Let us understand what happens in case of permanent increase in demand. Okay. The similar steps we have to follow here as well. In case of permanent increase in demand, what would happen? Our demand curve will shift to right. So let's say this is our new demand curve. Okay. This D1 is our new demand curve that due to some innovation, the industry demand has permanently increased from D to D1. Now, what would happen? The prices are now increased. Let's say these were prices P0 and now the prices have increased to P1. Roughly, it has become here. This is our new demand curve. And this is our new price. P0. This is our new price. Okay. Uh, not P0. Our new price is P1. Right, so price increases from P0 to P1. And you can see here, my cost is this much, but my revenues are this. So I'm earning this much as economic profit. So because I'm operating at a level and because my AC curve is below AR curve, I'm operating at economic um, supernatural profits. I'm earning supernatural profits. What, this ha uh, what will happen now? New players will enter the market because of seeing supernatural profits. And then what will happen? Due to entry of new players, our supply curve, supply of overall products increase. So supply increases in market. So what will happen? Let's say my supply curve increases and it shift to right. Now it will shift somewhere like this. Let's say this one, S1 is my demand, uh, S1 is my supply curve, increase supply curve. So due to increase in supply, what happens? D1 was my demand curve, S1 was my supply curve, and this quantity here, Q1 is my equilibrium quantity and my equilibrium price again restored to P0. Okay, so again, everyone will earn normal profit in long run as well. So in permanent, uh, in perfect, perfect competition, everyone will earn normal profit in long run. Whether there is permanent increase or decrease in demand, then also the price is restored due to demand and supply mechanism. And this is the same case. And every firm will operate at a level. I'm repeating it again and again. Where demand curve touches the AC curve at the lowest point and MR curve is equal to MC curve. That means in perfect competition, there is efficient utilization of resources. That is all about perfect competition. In next video, we'll talk about a monopolistic competition. Thank you.